no matter what happens, you have to keep, make sure you're also using the, they make decision based on the money and they're driven by money. Now, then there's a terrible problem, right? You need to probably. People ke upar people, people ke niche people, kitne people. <laughs> I will highly recommend this book called wonderful week video production i did 10 video shooting that also in a v work first time i went outside of my home and shot the videos outside of my society had a branding call uh, for the website and all. I think we had three people, wonderful, I think, discussion we had about my story, my, my colors, my theme. So the branding is reworked and now happening and all that. So this is what happened, like did a couple of sessions on book writing and how to find your passion, wonderful. But let me share something dark side of business this, this week. I learned one important lesson, which is no matter what happens, you have to keep your business separate from the personal emotions and personal relationships. And when I say emotions, I'm not saying become ruthless and don't do this. Like to me, business is purely run from my heart and then added mind into it. So I, I love to help people. I'm compassionate about it. But any other things that you do, the dealing with people, when there's there some important decisions that you have to make in life, make sure you're also using the business angle and mind angle it. Don't just purely, purely take decision based on the heart, right? Now I cannot name the people or tell you exact situation what has happened, but I'm in the middle of a situation where mm, some of the things that I've taken the decision based on the heart, it's now, kind of uncomfortable trying to seek clarity trying to seek better things but you know what if there's a business you have to also not just use your heart but also use your mind and um, try and get the best because look your business also impacts your 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 team members your vendors so if your business goes down if your profit goes down if your margin goes down it impacts everybody so when you're trying to be good to somebody um, and taking a decision by heart it should not backfire to your team members because if you don't have cash flow, if you don't have good business health, if the health of business is not good, nobody's health is going to be good. Okay. So that is one of the dark side that I'll share with you that when you're making a decision as an entrepreneur, as a passion partner, make sure that you don't just purely take a decision from heart. You need to have mind included in that as well. All right. One of the profile lesson that I learned from Sifu Dan Lok is he said that when you make a decision as a solopreneur, you can make decision, pivot easily and change things and you can do, 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 do more, 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 right? But when you get to the seven figure income, which is a million dollar, you cannot be the same person. You cannot just be on do, 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 don't think, plan, strategize. No, no, you can't do that because now you have a team members. And when you do just in a doing mode, you will confuse everybody. Where are we going? Where are we going? So you gave a wonderful example of the boat, right? When you are on a, on a speed boat, you can just turn, right? You can turn the speedboat quickly and maneuver easily. But imagine you know, a big mammoth ship like Titanic type of ship. We have to even have to do course correction. It takes slow, 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 right? So you have to think through all the decision that you make as an entrepreneur. When you have a team member, when you're decent size, you cannot just operate the way you've been operating at the six figure income. So that was a very profound lesson that I learned. Um, then 
I, I learned one of the other profound session lesson from Sifu, Dan Lok is there was, a, there was a situation I think in previous videos you might have seen that I was looking to hire one of the uh, ex-colleague of mine as a sales manager and um, we were trying to negotiate and all that thing and somehow I realized that I was trying to deal with her in a wrong way assuming few things what is that there was one profound lesson that Sifu shared is the people the team members are three kinds and the second kind I cannot share all that but second kind is the mercenaries mercenaries are they work for money they make decisions based on the money and they're driven by money now of course they're passionate about growing the business and all that but more they're driven by money and most of the salespeople are driven by money and then there's a different kind of people that you hire they're bad patriots patriots don't just necessarily work for money they work for cause they work for mission they work for the culture now I used to treat every person who I was about to hire as a patriot so when I was trying to have a conversation with the sales manager she is more like a mercenary and I'm talking the language of patriot like imagine what's gonna happen how many life you're gonna impact you'll have a meaningful this thing and all of course I had a money related discussion as well I gave the calculation as well that this much made this money you'll make this much money you'll make look at the long term imagine where would you be five years from now but mercenaries I understood that they're driven by now money now what is in it for me right now so I was trying to impose different rules on different person let me know is, is that an aha moment for you is that a wow moment for you when I heard this like wow this is really really amazing and anyways chalo, I'll, I'll share the first one also first one is grunt the people who are grunt they are mostly working just doing enough they're just sustaining they're just an order taker they're like a workers they just do 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 they don't worry about you know if I get more money or not or they just do enough to survive and all so these are three categories which I learned which was really really profound which have made me realize see everyday learning man everyday learning uh, then two more important lessons that I learned was from um, amazing books okay I'm gonna share the links uh, in the description of those amazing books check it out one of those lessons was hire people who you do not need to manage wow like wow this is really really good like when you hire people you can train you can coach you can you can guide you know guide them but don't need to manage them like micromanagement and pushing them and motivating them if you have people like those in your team man you don't need more of those people you need to hire people who do it do the, even if it is grunt who are just doing enough to survive or sustain most lot of people they don't even do enough so if you have people in your team who are not even doing enough forget about driven by money or cause or whatever even if they're not doing enough just for survival then there's a terrible problem right you need to probably find a different um, seat for them or you have to let them go now it sounds a little harsh but you know despite doing all that thing if people are not aligned towards your journey they, they might have to get down the bus because bus is leaving okay and and the another part which I learned was you hire the right people irrespective of whatever position whatever seat hire right people with the mindset attitude beliefs and they're driven and and then you find them the right seats and they will figure a way out and get out of the way right give them guidance support but find the right people first forget about where you you know what is that you want to achieve and your goals is good but find the right people first and then the right seats and then they'll help you to achieve the goals that was very very profound and this book which I'm referring to is the book called good to great okay now check out the link in the description you can just have a look at the Amazon and review it the second thing which I learned was um, from the book uh, again good to great it was about there was somebody was asked the question one successful person that what is the most important thing or, or thing you will suggest people uh, to do in, in in order to grow their business he said there are five things you know what, what are the five things that you'll say five suggestions you'll give he said number one people number two people number three people number four people number five people 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 ke upar people people ke niche people kitne people 
right? So he suggests that people, people, people is the main, main, main objective of business. Like you can be a solopreneur up to a certain level, but you cannot grow your business beyond a certain level if you do not have a right people, a right seed and people, people, people. That's really good. And, and I think if you're somebody who's looking to grow their business, we're looking to scale the business, I will highly recommend this book called Scaling Up. Again, check out the link in the description below. Check out both the books and I think this is the best investment you can make. If you're like an entrepreneur or passion person like me, who is growing the business, who are, who are looking to expand the business, these two books are going to help you really, really well. Okay, so that's a learning of the day.